Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Traveler's Rest. If you've ever wanted to build your own medieval inn, then this is the game for you. Welcome to each and every one of you. Thank you very much for tuning in today, and thank you for leaving a like to support the channel, and of course, to let me know you'd like to see more of Traveler's Rest. We can build and customize our very own tavern, and, uh, well, it's kind of an interesting game that uh, really reminds me of a little bit of, like, Stardew Valley and Surviving Titan, and a lot of these games are starting to blend together, yet they're very similar in many ways, yet very unique in their own, just like Crossroads Inn. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and press space, create a character, and let's build our very own inn. All right, let's go ahead and make somebody who's somewhat similar to me. Actually, this this actually looks really very similar to how I look. Let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, enter the name there, and let's start our very own tavern. Here we go. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. The demo allows for two in-game days of playtime. I hope you enjoy it. The game will soon be available in early access, so remember to wishlist it on Steam to support the solo dev project. You got it, my man. All right, let's see. So WASD to walk around, and then also uh, build button in order to enter and exit build mode. You got it. All right, while in build mode, you can place items. Right-click right to select the table. Okay. Uh... Oh, we have to do it by continuing, though. Left click to place. You got it. And how do we rotate? R. Perfect. That makes sense. Let's set these folks over by the cozy um, fireplace. Maybe right about there. Customers need a place to sit. Place benches so they face the table. You got it. Uh, R rotates an item. Right click to add it to your inventory. Okay, well, we can just set these here. And we're good. Excellent. Uh, customers will also expect their table to be well lit in the evenings and not to mention dank at the nights. Well, try placing the candle on the table. You got it, my friend. Boom. That looks nice. Exit build mode. Right click on the book to open your stock. Okay. Let's go see what's... Oh, we have to walk over there first. Let's go see what's in stock at the bar. Storing food will add it to your bar stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you'll have to serve gruel. This means rewards a small portion of money and reputation. Ah, so no matter what, we always have food. It's just low quality. Storing food will add it to your bar stock. Oh, yep, we already read that. Okay, cool. You got it. So let's close the book then. Press O on the close sign to open your tavern and serve some gruel. Remember to exit build mode. Okay, you got it. Let's open her up then. You have a guest. Click on the question mark on the left side of the screen to view. Okay. Customer zero out of six. So we can have six customers in total uh, because we have one table. So that must mean three people can sit on either side. Cool. Uh, let's see. Your first customer has entered the tavern. Provide good service and a well-kept tavern to earn reputation. Hello. Okay, let's go give this person some gruel. A customer has requested an item. Click on the customer to serve them. There you go. So we get 60 cents or 60 bronze or whatever you want to call it. Uh, then silver and gold, too. So just like Graveyard Keeper in that sense that I remember. Looking forward to a pint? Well, we only have gruel, sir. All right, once we're full, we'll probably have to start doing some cleaning of the bar. We'll see. More gruel. I'm ready to drink them by the flagon. There you go. Oh, he has swords, too. Lots of adventurers coming in. And this should be our last person, and we've reached capacity. Excellent. Quest complete. Serve six customers. Oh, now we got new stuff. We got a new table, benches, and another candle. Perfect. Close the tavern so you can place new items. Uh, call last order by pressing O or clicking on the open sign. Oh, okay, so last call. And then everyone will leave. And then we can uh, start building. Or can we build while they're here? Uh, large items such as tables and benches cannot be moved in place while the tavern is open. Ah, so we can only do small things. So we gotta wait for everyone to leave. Okay, let's look around while we wait for them. Looks like there's something up here for us to build eventually. Unlock the crafting room for 15 silver. Okay, we can't do that yet. A table has become dirty. Click and hold on the table to clean it. Uh, looks like we have our bedroom up here too. But let's go check out the uh, cleaning. Uh, so we have to right click on a table. Set up a table using the new items. Left click with the item selected in your action bar. First we have to clean. Oh, oh can we actually copy this? Oh, that's moving. Uh, table's dirty. Can I clean this? Uh, it's not letting me clean. All right, let's move this a little over here. Dude, I love this so far. This is really fun. I I've always wanted this in a Sims game, too, where I can open up a shop like this, but something more like a tavern, you know what I mean? Open your tavern and serve new customers. Okay, so we've got a quest to do it again, but let's just 
move our bar a little bit. I think we'll scoot it there so our tables are nice and close together. And that should be fine right there. And there's our table. And we'll add our candle. There we go. Fancy. Okay, how do we clean this? Hmm. Oh, we have to exit build mode. Ah, that's how. Gotcha. All right, everything's clean. Let's open her up again. It's 8.40 a.m., so everyone's coming in for breakfast, I guess. So our breakfast rush is coming again. So now we can hold um, 12 guests. And now we have to serve 10 more bowls of gruel in order to unlock what looks to be grog and 20-something. Maybe, I don't know what that is. Soup? So we just got to basically wait here for a while. And also unlock the crafting room, which we'll need 15 silver to do that. So we just need to basically feed... Oh, one of your customers has dirtied your floor. Oh, no. Enter uh, Tavern Vision by pressing Z. Uh, in retrospect, I should have placed the tables up here so they didn't walk around the bar. But maybe they do. Maybe they take the long way around. Oh. Well, let's serve this customer. And let's go clean. Boom. Oh, cleaning the tables. Good. Coming over. There you go. And some gruel for you, too. Excellent. Well, this is a grueling labor, but we got it going. See what I did there? Okay, another... Uh, oh, sir. Okay, clean. Oh, things need to be clean. Must keep things clean. There we go. All right, two of those people taken care of. This music's nice. Let's see if there's an outside. Can we leave the bar? Maybe we'll get robbed. Oh, there's a whole outside. Outside your tavern, you'll find a post box to order supplies and a delivery box, a notice board to accept order quests and hire staff. Uh, also, a farming area to the north and a well to collect water. Oh, that's cool. All right. We'll check back in here shortly. That's really cool. So now we can do farming outside, so we'll be able to... Uh, Grow our own crops. Excellent. Serve 10 bowls of gruel as unlock porridge and grog. I was right. Excellent. You can now serve porridge and grog. Right-click on the book to add the porridge to your stock inventory. All right, let's do that then. So we need to put the porridge in there. And the grog in the bar, I think. Okay, now it seems to be served. Oh, oh, we just served our first thing of, uh... Something. Did she order grog? pretty dirty in here. These people want grog. Let's see how to serve them grog. I think we have to pull the tabs? No keg. Hmm. Right click on the beer tab to add the keg of grog to the slot. Ah, there we go. So let's add grog to that. So we gotta put that back in our inventory. So let's add the porridge to the bar. Hold on folks, I'm just learning. There we go. Alright, let's start serving some grog. Oh, and porch for you. All right, hold on, folks. One at a time, please. There you go. Okay, and grog. Perfect. A customer has requested a beer. Click and hold on the beer tap to create a beer. Well, I've already figured that out. Or wait a minute. Did these people not want grog? Oh, they wanted porridge. Somewhere porridge, somewhere grog. Yeah, that's porridge there. Serve five bowls of porridge. Excellent. We've unlocked a doormat. Oh! Helps keep your tavern floor clean. Oh, thank goodness. You can now unlock your crafting room. Okay, let's finish up for the day. Our reputation is going to be low as we aren't really serving too many good menu items at the moment. All right, let's put this down. Can I, can I put this down while I'm build mode? It's not that big of a thing. Okay, good. All right, grog. Wait. There we go. Oh, it seems like I had two in my inventory. I'm actually holding two. So I can actually make a few of these and store them in my inventory. Okay. All right, let's call last call so we can do the crafting room now. So anybody else, come on up. And we'll clean in the meantime. Things look good. Uh, tavern vision. Oh, yes, we need to clean the tables. Filthy. Exit build mode, too. There we go. Get those nice and clean. There you go.
All right. No reputation from that, but at least the temperature, the comfort, and the cleanliness are perfect. So we just need to work on improving our food. We'll need another person to have grog. But at least we got the money we need to build the crafting room, so let's do that. Unlock the crafting room for 15, yes. Ah, good. We found on the north side of the tavern, and now we've got ourselves grain and bucket of water. Oh, this looks like a furnace here. This is your crafting room. Let's make a porridge. Right-click on the oven to open up the crafting menu. Each crafter has a list of recipes. These show the required fuel and time. Oh, okay. So we'll just need to be able to make porridge with water and and, uh, and grain. Which we have water in there already. But we need fuel. Some recipes require fuel. Click on the log on the right side of the crafting menu. This will remove a log from your inventory and add five fuel to the crafter. Okay. So we add fuel first. Uh, there you go. Oh, I see. We do it this way. And then we add the grain. Perfect. Some recipes can be modified. This allows extra ingredients to be added. Some have m mandatory modifiers. Uh, porridge requires grain. Try dragging the barley from your inventory to the slots, and that'll create barley porridge. Ah, you got it. Starchy. Barley, barley, barley. <laughs> I don't think I want that many. Let's just do one at a time. There we go. Craft. Each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer is full, click on the crafter to collect the items. Wait for your porridge to cook. It'll only take a few seconds. Uh, oh, yeah. It's taking just a little bit. All right. What's this here? All right. So now when we reopen, we'll have more porridge, grog, and a few other things. And now we'll start making a positive uh, reputation now that we got all that basic stuff done. Here comes the porridge. Any second now. Ah, there it is. I thought it'd pop out. But it's right there. So finished. Uh, how do I take it out of the inventory here? I don't want to cancel crafting. It's all done. Maybe it will pop out. Let's see. Ah, oh, there it goes. All right, craft porridge. Done. Now we've unlocked the malt house. Let's brew some beer. Place the malt house in your inventory and start uh, crafting malted barley. Remember to enter build mode. Oh, we unlocked little skills just like in Graveyard Keeper. Nice. All right, let's put this down. Some items will increase your uh, tavern's comfort level. Multiple of the same item will diminish this effect. Greater the comfort level. Uh, keep your customers happy. All right, let's put that up here. And I'm assuming now we got to figure out how to brew some beer. Ah, yes, looks like we can make malt barley. But we'll need fuel. There we go. So it looks like it's going to take three hours to do that. Malting this takes a while. Right-click on the crafter view to see how long it, each recipe will take. All right, well, we'll let that sit for a while. Let's make some more porridge in the meantime. There you go. Alright, we'll come back a little bit later when those are ready. Let's open up the bar again. And put some more stuff in the inventory. So we have more barley porridge. Nice. So we got 12 of that. We might be out of stuff. Oh, that fell through there. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so we should be ready to open up the bar again. Let's keep the tables on this side so they're a little more efficient now. We'll try to keep them a little bit closer. Sorry, candle. I need to collect that. There we go. Okay, let's see. I think what I want to do is put the table down one slot. Just like this. Is there a way to move all of them at once? The whole table? Seems like we can only do it one at a time. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we should, should be able to open things up. And malting and grog should be completed. We'll have those quests knocked out shortly. We'll need to order some more products, though. We're running low on grog. And I can't make that at the moment, so there's only one way to get it, and that's by buying it. All right, let's go ahead and give him the grog he wants. Excellent. Job complete. And we have five paper coasters. Ah, we can add that to the build menu, too.
There we go. Okay, sorry, sir. There you go. Okay, let's pour some more grog. Seems like we can just hold it in our inventory. It makes it a lot easier. Wow, now we're making a lot of money. Okay, we can serve a lot more grog. There's your port, sir. Let's clean. Okay, we gotta be behind the bar to serve this. Very good. Okay, another person. Oh, so far so good. This place is cleaner than a palace. Excellent. Excellent. I wonder if it'll get cold here. Comfort's at 59. This means when everybody leaves, we're finally going to score some reputation now. There's some grog for you, ma'am. Let's clean these tables. All right, now we're starting to score some reputation. That's what I'm talking about. Soon, soon. Yeah, hopefully we don't run out of grog soon. Excellent. All right, let's check back on the malting. Uh, looks like they're almost, they're, they're ready, I believe. Okay, let's check on our tavern vision. Looks good, nothing's too dirty. Okay, back to porridge. And grog. Good that we can hold some of these in storage. I like this game so far. I really uh, like the ability to just kind of like keep it all about, you know, making money and optimizing the bar setup. It's kind of nice. There we go. Clean the tables again. All right, let's make last call. So that way we can go on to some other stuff now. Okay, let's go check on the malting. I don't think anybody else is going to order anything. Let's go check on this. There we go. Grab some malted barley. We now have a mash turn, a bitter hops, and a bucket of water. Create wort by boiling grains. Uh, place the mash turn and create some uh, wa mild wort. Check back later when it's finished. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a big thing. Holy crap. Ooh, we're scoring reputation. Yay. Looks like everybody had a good time. All right, uh, let's see. Malted barley. So let's make one of these. Not enough fuel. There we go. And it looks like it took all the materials that were needed to make that. There it is. Okay. Oh, we should probably get some more of this porridge, too. And let's make some more of that. Let's add some barley to that. There we go. And should we make any more malt? Not enough fuel. There we go. We'll keep crafting things around the clock. All right, looks like the tavern has gotten cold, but nobody's here except for me, so that's fine. Let's go down and check out the uh, rest of the town. Oh, I'm loving this. This is great. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, here you can order items for the tavern. Simply click on an item to add it to your basket or shift click to add 10. After ordering, uh, let's see, the delivery box will have it to your tavern in three hours. Wow, that's some good delivery. Uh, how about some grog? I need some basic things to keep rolling. Grain bag brewing. Oh, I can actually search. Let's search all for grog. Nothing for grog. Huh. Oh, we can decorate with a lot of stuff. We can order coal and drip trays, empty jars and shelves. Neat. And then let's see if there's anything in the box. Nope. Oh, we can hire staff from here or take on orders. Looks like we can pick up a stick. Oh, and there's logs down there, too, so we have some free fuel sitting across the street. This will keep us running a little longer. 
So we could probably plant and chop down trees around here too. Spend a little bit of time outside. Hmm. Ah, there's the two birds from the logo sitting on top of the uh, tavern there. What's this up here? Uh, progress through the main quest line to unlock the farm. Ah, so the farm will come when the full game is released. Keep in mind, we're playing the demo right now. And, uh, boy, it's, that, it's pretty fun so far, I must say. Okay, our next goal is to learn boiling. So it says craft some mild wart. So we're just basically waiting for that thing to complete. So let's make some more money in the meantime. Tavern is cold. All right, let's place some logs in the fireplace. Uh, oh. Let's try that again. There we go. And we'll just have to remember to turn it off. And there you go, people. Bum, 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 bum. So now we're going to get to level one tavern very shortly. Reputation at least will be one. Not too bad. And our thing will be ready soon. So we'll have another quest unlocked. I do like quests, and so do these adventures. Okay, let's see if we can clean this up before this person comes in. Oh, I hit him with the mop. There we go. Wait. Must clean tables. Must maintain cleanliness. There you go, sir. There we go. Excellent. Everything's perfect for our customers. There we go. Bum, bum. So I guess what we could probably do is buy some more coasters in order to keep things cleaner longer and just have doormats everywhere. So that's one of the things we can do to try to uh, increase the fanciness of our bar. But then again, we may as well hold on to most of our money unless we get it for free. Okay, two more people can fit in the bar. There's two more. Oh, everybody likes that uh, porridge, I guess. Ba, ba, ba. And now everything's full. Good. All right, I'm going to check our orders real quick. I'm going to try coasters. Oh. Paper coasters. Okay. Let's order like 10 of those. You know what? They're Yeah, they're, ba they're barely expensive, so let's just order a bunch of those. I'll order 30. You've reached a new po reputation milestone. Each milestone unlocks new items and mechanics. View these by clicking on the arrow under the reputation bar. Excellent. Let's accept and order that. Thank you, people. Sorry to keep you folks waiting. We'll check on that reputation in a moment. There you go. Sorry, I know it's messy in here. I was gone for two seconds. Hold on. Good thing we got more coasters. There we go. There you go. Oh, another order. Okay, we'll let this person wait at the second for the bar. Hold on, just a moment. Good. Well, we still have plenty of grog and stuff. It's getting late. Call last orders to give your customers a chance to finish before closing up. Okay, I think we can keep open until like 2 a.m. But, yeah, let's go ahead and call it, I suppose. All right, let's uh, also clean up. And we'll put coasters down, too, on every table. Oh, wait, we have to wait for those to be delivered. We'll do that tomorrow, then. I forgot they're not immediately in the inventory. Okay, drop-down error. Oh, what? Ah, there it is. Shanty. Uh, brewing and tech trees. Press T to open. Ah, tech trees are how you learn new recipes. Each tech costs skill points, which can be earned by crafting. Skill points are split into physical, nature, and mental. Ah, so red, blue, green. Uh, three bars on the bottom left of your screen indicate your progress towards your next point. Mild ale talent. Ah, I see. Cooking. Farming. Coming soon on the magic and social. Well, I would like to be a better cook and try to make some uh, more items. Not enough skill points. So we have one and one. One red and one green. Ah, so that's the number they need to unlock. So one, two, two. 
So we need to get a few more before we really unlock anything food to drink wise. And that's where we're going to make our money. So that's a good idea. Now we also have an upstairs, so we can turn into an inn. Renting rooms is coming soon though, so we can't do that quite yet. But it will be a thing in the future. Alright, let's cle clean up everything. Good. Everything's nice and tidy. No dirt detected. Let's go grab the rest of these items. Excellent! Last stage is fermentation. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Put our fermentation down over there. And we should be able to start the fermentation process. Brew mild ale. Okay. Oh, we need to get fuel out of the fireplace. You can add modifiers such as fruit and give your beer a custom name. Wow, we can make our own custom beer. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and shut the fireplace off. You're about to pass out. Go to bed before 3 a.m. Okay. Just a moment. Let's at least start this thing. And let's craft a mild ale. How do we do that? What goes in there? Bitter hops and barley? Would that work? Well, let's just craft with that. That'll do it in a little bit. And then we apparently get a wedding cake. I have no idea what that is, actually. All right, let's go to bed. This is your bedroom. Sleep in your bed to save the game. If you stay up too late, you'll pass out. Oh, it looks like we have a chest here, too. Ah, with more ale yeast in it. Okay. Wait, that's in the chest itself. There we go. And now we have a lot more logs. Cool. Uh, inventory or chest. Well, this should be in my actual inventory. So we have everything now. Let's go to bed. Sleep. Demo lasts two days. Yes. We'll see how long we can get along. We'll try to fill up the entire tavern as far as we can. Click save to override one... Uh, oh, that's just about saving. Okay. Well, I guess we'll make a new save. There we go. Okay. And this thing is still going to take a while. Wow, fermentation is taking quite some time. Ah, there we go. That's how we're unlocking a lot of our stuff. Okay, let's make some more porridge. We're going to need a lot of logs for this, though. And water, too, it seems. Uh, refill using the well. Okay. So we're going to need a lot of water now. Let's go do that. We'll open up later today. And we'll get some of our stuff done. Before opening your tavern, consider stocking up for the day. You'll need more logs for crafting for the fireplace. Visit the post office to order supplies. Yep. We will definitely do that. Let's go get water. Actually, this should be here now. Yes, there's my coaster. It's beautiful. Okay, let's see. I want to order logs. There's a few sitting around, but we'll need more. So let's order maybe 30 of those. Let's order 50, actually. Oh, we don't have enough cash. We'll order 25, then. We will need quite a bit. For the fireplace and for the fermenting and all the other things we're doing. Let's also order another doormat. There we go. Okay, let's collect water. Alright, so we'll get opened up a little later today. Okay, back and we go. We'll come by, uh, like around, uh, ten. Eh, we'll probably check back at about noon. Okay, let's go do some more fermenting. So far, so good. I love the ability to craft my own stuff, to be able to name it. I like being able to, uh, do some of the things that you would normally do in a, in a tavern. Hosting people and whatnot. Kind of cool. Okay, let's craft that. Make some more mash. Monster mash. So we don't need those. Come back here, you. Okay, everything's going. Nice. Oh, porridge is ready. 60 bowls of porridge. I think we're good for a while then. Don't need any more of that. All right, let's go place those coasters. Those are going to be important. Well, let's check our inventory. 
and there's our coasters. And let's leave the porridge here in the bar. Okay. We'll need some more grog too, but I don't know how to make that. I suppose it's because now we're brewing our own. So we probably got some for free at the very start. Try to put our coat. Oh, set one on the floor. That's ah, okay, we got a million of them. A foot coaster. There we go. Uh, so long as they're on the table, I think they count. They don't, they don't do much else. Okay, so let's see. Currently crafting. Oh, we can actually move that around. Cool. Ah, finished. Perfect. I forgot that when it's black like that, you can collect. Congratulations, you've brewed your first beer. Press T to open your tech trees and learn new recipes. Experiment with ingredients to craft better brews and food. Good. Oh, it's a grinder. What does that do? Okay, let's make some more stuff here. Although we're missing Wild Mort, which is going to be from here. So we got to wait a little bit, but we can sell our own brew now. So let's go back and get that ready for business. Otherwise, everything else seems like it's crafting. So, Mild Ale. We'll put that there on tap. We can actually start preparing these. Looks like it'll automatically give the customer anything that they want. We just need to have it on our inventory, so if we pre-prepare these, we can get away with a little bit of a scam. There we go. That should be enough to start. Now, let's go check and see if any of our stuff has been delivered. Let's see. Yep, doormats here, and so are the logs. Oh, perfect. Now we got tons of logs. Okay, let's build something here. Uh, let's see. Inventory. So we'll put these coasters back. Let's put another uh, mat down. Uh, maybe here. Uh, maybe the doormat can only go near the door. Makes sense, but I wish I could put it anywhere. But that's fine. Double-sized doormat is good. Actually, can we rotate this? No. We can't. Okay, well, that's good enough. Okay, let's go ahead and prepare some other stuff for the day. Soon. Oh, yes, perfect. We have the wart ready. Excellent. Let's make another another one of those. We need more malted barley. There it is. So now we just need the logs. Good. This needs water. Are we really out of water already? I guess so. Yeah, all that stuff is uh, busy, busy times. Okay, let's go make some more buckets of water. We can buy some more buckets, but we're a little low on cash now. Which is fine. This will be our best day at the tavern, I think. Uh, so let's go put those in here. Okay. And this is missing an empty keg, which we have only because we finished off the grog. So we'll need to buy one of those too. Which I don't think we'll have enough money for. Those seem quite expensive. So let's open up the bar in just a moment. And we'll have our last fun run in the bar. Let's check here. Empty keg. That's a barrel. Empty keg is 15, so we won't have enough to make more. But we do have some in storage, beer-wise. So let's have our last fun run. Our last little bit of fun. Bum, bum. Customers will come in. Things are perfect temperature. Hello, sir. There's your porridge. Just had a run in with some bandits. Well, enjoy your porridge. There we go. Be nice if we can get some people to perform here and do some other things like in uh, Crossroads Inn. That would be awesome as well. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. 
Perfect. Alright. So now we're about, what, half capacity? How many, how many guests? Does it have a count? Oh, it doesn't. So we'll just have to do a head count. Looks like we have... Well, never mind. That changed. Oh, what? 186 for that. Nice. 1627 is what we have for cash. Beautiful. Let's go clean. Time to lean. Time to clean. We'll clean those tables here in a sh short second. Oh, they barely get dirty because of the... Oh, that's awesome. The tables barely get dirty now because of those uh, paper things, so we don't have to clean as much. We can just chill behind the bar. Nice. 2371. All right, we can go buy another keg if we want. Let's go do that. Okay, we'll order one of those. Oh, hold on. Hobble. Farming and carpentry tech trees unlocked. We got a new milestone. We're a level two bar. Nice. Well, now it's just going to get faster now that we have all these things down. Beautiful. Customer. Nice. Cool. Alright, let's go check on our barley and hops and such. Beautiful. Wait a minute. Oh no, we don't have the keg yet. We'll have to wait for that to be delivered at like 5 o'clock. There we go. Alright guys, well I think that's it for today's look at uh, Traveler's Inn. This is really, really fun, guys. And I really like this game a lot. So if you want to see more of this, make sure you click or tap that like button. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you guys next time for more. Thanks for dropping by my messy tavern. Lo oh, looks like we got ourselves some rowdy folks here in the bar. Uh-oh. All right, we might have ourselves some fights here in a moment. So if you want to see it, make sure you click or tap the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for being the best community on YouTube, and I hope to see you guys sometime soon. Tech. Do bye.